Don't leave it on the floor. Hang it up. I just got all my laundry done yesterday. There's laundry on top of the washer still. Is it clean? Smell it. All right, so here, if you don't get a notification, you just got to make sure the bell's working. For some reason, half the people... Dude, a lot of people that watch don't have the notification on. It's weird as shit. Ugh. Hold on, I don't want any bad luck. Couldn't afford any more right now. Flag first. Hey, Brad. Hey, what's going on? How you doing, Alfred Newman? Pretty good, you? I'm doing good. Well, what, boss? Uh, I like your choice in tie. Thank you. You as well. It's a good tie. You got a uh, you got an office we can go sit in. I need some help. Um, yeah, let's go to let's go to the back. All right, perfect. Twitch notifications never work. Twitch notifications do be fucking me in the ear lately. Yo, strange. Thanks for the two months. Ornery, thanks for the eight months. Fats, thanks for the four months. Oh, Millie, thanks for the six months. Appreciate it. All right. So, um, I need some help. Okay. I got to sue a lot of people, and I also need to get my resume in order. Okie dokie. Gotcha. So, um, if you could help me get my, uh, my personal resume in order. Maybe we could, uh, I think you could help me with my LinkedIn profile as well. Uh, I should be able to. I have quite a few paralegals that uh, specialize in that. Uh, one of them has written my resume for another job. And I think he would do well in writing yours. All right, perfect. Um, here's what I'm thinking. We need to get my resume in order because uh, currently I am unemployed, but I am a successful entrepreneur. Oh, I, I could see that by the way you dress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going for, uh, uh, you know, like uh, savvy business. Not just like, you know, savvy business, slightly casual, but still savvy business. Like, kind of like a young CEO that has to go to a business meeting, but normally doesn't dress up. Yeah, that, that fits it with you. Yeah, yeah. So here's what I'm looking to do. All right, you tell me if you can help me out there, Chief. I need to get my resume in order, because I do not know what the future entails for me. Because if Dominic Toretti gets elected to sheriff, I will quit. Yeah, who wouldn't? Because, let's be honest, you deserve it. Yeah, I mean, I built the strongest department ever. I'm not going to let Dominic Toretti trample all over my hopes and dreams. I will kill him before that happens. I will murder that man. Theoretically, through words. Yeah. And in vicious, vicious court trials. Exactly. Take him to court for just... Random shit, because fuck them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, is it alright if we have a seat? Yeah, yeah, let's, uh, let's go, let's go sit over here. Yeah, yeah, I need to have a seat. I'm a little on edge. Understandable. A little on edge here. Alright, so, um, my job history is, uh, I went to schools... Oh, uh, so my uh, education. <clears throat> uh, I went to a fine, uh, nice little privatized preschool when I was three. Uh, it was for advanced advanced people like myself. You see, when I was a baby, I never cried. When I was a wee lad, I never cried. And uh, I displayed keen intellectual prowess by knowing the alphabet and my shapes. There wasn't a goddamn shape that I couldn't fit into its proper hole. I'll tell you that. And to this day, there isn't a goddamn shape I can't put in a hole either. After I finished uh, 
my three-year-old uh, schooling, I went into another advanced free school at the age of four, where uh, I also, along this t period of time, I also took karate. Uh, upon taking karate, I was expelled from my dojo by my sensei for the refusal to take off my socks. Needless to say, I've always been a bit of a rebel. Now then, while I was enrolled into this prestigious four-year-old academy, I was taught many things that I still know, use to this day, like how to write and basic reading skills, as I was a gifted child. Now, like many gifted children, at the age of four was when it decided to stop, and I got lazy. I went to kindergarten with the rest of the goddamn cronies and low IQ cretins of this world. At which point, I was sent home on numerous occasions because I would spit on people for some reason. I don't know why. I just always knew. I, I always thought, I do know the reason. They were beneath me. They were beneath me. Now then, I was unable to get into a prestigious, uh, schooling academy for the first grade but i did so terribly in the first grade that they wanted to hold me back and my parents just said no let's get him glasses instead so they got me glasses and then my dad thought it would be a bright idea to get me sports goggles what a prick everybody always made fun of my sports goggles there was a lot of scuffling on the playground because i would bring out my sports goggles now then, after, after I started to realize these sports goggles and glasses were dog shit, I just went back to being a normal gifted child again and was able to excel uh, directly into the third grade. I was able to skip the second grade. As you see, I was advanced. Very advanced. You see, I could read at a very high level at a young, early age. Now then. All right, now this is where we run into that problem again where a gifted child says, fuck it. Around the fourth grade, time of third grade. Hey, hey, can I help you with something, lady? You need to get the fuck out of here, you old bitch. Nah, I was, uh, I was just- Yeah, 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 we're in a bit, we're having a conversation here. Fred, Rock to Rock, the DLSA, the yeah, 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 whatever. Gotcha, gotcha. Whatever. Dio say. Don't you. Hey, why don't you go sell something at a tent? Why don't you go find a tent and sell something that people want? I would tell you to go stand on a corner, but you're ugly as shit. Nobody wants to buy that. I'm sure somebody would. Anywho. So there I was. In the fourth grade, I was brought into gifted classes. All right. But then I was later removed from the gifted math class because the teacher didn't like how I used my fingers to do math in my head. So I got punished for doing math in my head. And, uh, yeah. And then afterwards, things started to spiral out of control with weed and alcohol. And I was able to finish a uh, high school with uh, astounding remarks, even though I barely showed up. Because let's be honest, public school's kind of a joke. I never did my homework. I barely ever did my classwork. Somehow I was still fucking getting like A's and B's. I don't even know how the fuck that was happening. Oh, I know how that was happening. I was cheating a lot. <laughs> yeah, I was cheating a lot. Fuck it. Um, Let's leave that, uh, yeah, leave that part on. That makes me sound like a go-getter, right? Yeah, uh, I mean, I mean it, it's hard work to cheat. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, hmm. After I finished high school, I worked uh, a couple jobs, and then I said, what the fuck am I going to do with my life? What is my future? So I decided to become a cop. I forged my age on a document as if I was trying to get into the military. 
and printed out a fake co uh, social security number. And bam, what didn't you know? That was enough to get me into the police at the age of 19 because you need to be 21 in order to be a cop. So there I was, 19-year-old cop in Baltimore, holding it down. And then I spent the next few years, you know, I was a, a detective sergeant. I led my own unit. I then got fired for allegations of corruption, but uh, I, I took a plea deal and just stepped down from the department and transferred out here to be with my girlfriend, Brittany Angel, who I met on Tinder. And my dad's out here too, so I was like, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Came out here, was an officer, got promoted to sheriff, ran the entire division. And then I started a talent agency, which is doing all right. Hold on, the mayor's calling me. Hey, what's going on there, Mayor Abdul? Hello, Sheriff. How you feeling, man? I'm not the sheriff anymore. I got fired. Still my sheriff. Well, I appreciate that, Abdul. I really do. Now, uh, they said they relieved you of your position, but you can win it back, correct? Yeah, yeah. I, they relieved me of my position, but I can win it back. But judging by oh, what I said honest. to those senators, uh, I wouldn't be holding my breath because I did tell them all I didn't respect them. I didn't acknowledge them. They had no power over me, and I did tell them all to suck my dick collectively and my balls. Well, that's why I want to speak to you. All right. Well, because right now I'm uh, I'm currently actually outside your office putting together my resume with uh, my attorney. He's helping me with my uh, resume. I'm going to pay him $5,000. Well, um, oh, I got to get my resume together. Wait, your, your business proposal? No, no. I got to get my, like, resume for jobs so I can, like, you know, go apply for jobs. No, 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 You don't apply for anything. You got to go back straight to Sheriff. Yeah, but who knows if that's going to happen there, Mr. Mayor. I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you. It's very important. All right, all right. There is um, something that you, uh, nobody's aware of except me, and uh, I, I need to share this with someone because it's eating me alive right now. All right, well, um, we can talk uh, in your office in a bit if you want. I'm literally uh, right outside of it. All right. All I right. am outside in my taxi. The office might be, you know, there might be bugs in there. Oh, so, okay, okay. Well, then, yeah, let's, so, then all right, so stop I, talking I, on yeah. the phone then. Stop talking on the phone. All right. Then. All right, all right, all right. All right. I'll, I'll, listen, I'll give you a call, and we'll meet up. Okay, love you. All right, just bye. ping me if you want. Ping I will. Me. What's your number? I'll send you my ping. I'll send you my ping. Don't worry. Right, so yeah, you send don't me your forget ping. it. Gotcha. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, it's basically my resume. Okay, would you like a quick read back? Oh, one second. Also, I was a uh, professional gambler. Let's put that on there too. Professional gambler. And uh, let's just lie and said I made millions. Perfect. They have no way of. Uh, they have no way of uh, arguing that. Perfect. Okay, uh, I mainly took footnotes, which you know I can uh, embellish as we go. I have that. Uh, you went to a nice little privatized. Preschool at the age of three, you were advanced as fuck, you didn't cry because you're an alpha, you displayed a keen intellectual prowess, uh, shapes and numbers were your bitch. Yep. Uh, you were in advanced preschool at the age of four, you were a karate master, but was expelled for not wanting to take off your socks. Uh, you were taught many things. You were a genius in writing, you were a gifted child, but, you know, gifted children got lazy. Uh, you went to regular kindergarten with the plebs. Uh, you were sent home numerous times for spitting on the people below you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you were you unable to get into uh, first grade high academy. You wanted they, they wanted to hold you back, and uh, I think they did so, as you said. Uh, you got glasses and sports goggles and stuff. Uh, you kind of got wrecked with some uh, bullying. Uh, then, but then you know, I you came them. back from it. Yeah, exactly. You wrecked, you wrecked them right back. Uh, you skipped the second grade, went into third grade. You were advanced AF as again, as a, advanced AF again. You could read at a very high level, uh, including the, uh, you know, high tier Harry Potter books, uh, you know, because those were advanced at the time. Uh, oh, oh, oh we, grade, I got uh, something we can add in there. 
Okay, okay, got it's it. In, it's in the bullying thing. Uh, I got suspended from uh, elementary school because one time I threw a sharpener at someone. <laughs> gotcha. A sharpener thrown like a quarterback. Yeah, well, he was asking for it. That son of a bitch took my colored pencils. <laughs> Motherfucker, those are advanced. Yep, so I threw a pencil sharpener at him because he said he needed it. Well, That's I knew he needed it because they weren't sharpened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, you fourth grade, you went into the gifted classes, you were removed from the gifted math class for fingering math. Wait, nope, using your fingers during math. Yeah, using uh, my fingers during math. Gotcha, gotcha. You uh, spiraled out with weed and alcohol. You finished high school with an astound with astounding remarks, somehow, uh, because public schools are Papega AF. I think I got that down right. Uh, you barely did any work, but you got A's and B's because you are a cheating master. Yep. Uh, after Big high cheat. school, you got some random jobs. You said, you know what? Fuck it. You forged some shit, became a cop, had a fake social security number. Bam, you're a cop at 19 uh, in Baltimore. You were holding it down. Hell yeah. Get Hold some. Hold it down. Get some. Get some! Uh, exactly. Detective sergeant with own unit fired for allegations of corruption. You stood down like a fucking legend. Uh, you met Angel on Twitter. Or not, not Tinder. Not Tinder, Twitter. yeah. Uh, the, your, your dad is here, which is dope as fuck. Uh, you were promoted to sheriff. You ran the entire division, once again, like a legend. Uh, you started your own talent agency, which is doing, you know, okay. And uh, you became a professional gamba and made millions. All right, I'll, listen, I'll give you uh, $5,000 to make this into a presentable document. I can do that. Uh, it'll All right, take fuck me it, I'll do 10. 24 hours. Fuck yeah, I mean, I'm down for money. All right, if you get it done, if you don't get it done quicker, you get 15. Fuck yeah, I can go upstairs and write this shit right now. All right, gotcha. Perfect. I'll even give you the money up front. Fuck yeah. Hell, you give it a nice, give it a nice border too. Let's laminate that bitch. Okay, give it a sheen and a nice colored border. Yep, perfect. Easy clap. All right, I appreciate you, Mr. Newman. You're my lawyer now. Hell yeah. Gotcha. Also, I might need to sue some senators if you're game for it. They they sent me to jail for contempt of court when we were just in a meeting in a courtroom. And I want to sue the shit out of them. I want to sue the dicks out of them. I want to sue them. I want them sued. Uh, you can actually do that yourself if you want to be really petty. Uh, go for small claims court and say that they caused you mental anguish. And they have to show up for it. Oh my god, they did. Well, they're also, uh, you know, affecting my livelihood. You know, um, I'm gonna, I'm losing out on uh, a bunch of money. And they said I had to go work DOC for some reason. Fuck that. Fuck that. Yeah, fuck the DOC. Fuck the DOC. Yeah, all I really need from you, uh, you know, to make me your lawyer, you send me a text saying, "I, Kyle Fred, uh, King of the Sheriffs." request a retainment for Alfred Newman, pretty good lawyer. Uh, and I say, I right, dog, bet, and uh, we're good. Bam, text sent, dog. This is what I'm talking about. See, this is, a, I like, you know what I like? I like you, Mr. Newman. I, I think, uh, I think we're going to have a bright, bright future together. As, um, for now on, you know, I know how it is. You can't really, I know how it is to be a lawyer. You know, if I do become a cop again, you know, I'd still like to use you as my private attorney if possible. Because I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to start suing criminals that shoot me during shootouts. <laughs> yeah, next, I think for that's now, possible. yeah, yeah. Next time someone, like, uh, makes me run in a foot chase, I'm going to sue them for it. <laughs> I'm looking yeah, to yeah, yeah. I'm how, looking to make you and myself a lot of money. How corrupt do you want to get? As corrupt as we can get without it being noticeable. <laughs> okay, I have a therapist on hand that would meet with you and forge documents that uh, say that each individual caused you mental anguish. Perfect. Uh, not just me like physical. Uh, You're the best. The shit out of them. Hell yeah, get some. 
You're my uh, you're my shadow BCSO attorney. I'm taking over for Arthur, and that feels pretty great because yeah. he's a paralegal with me. Yeah, he's he was, and then look at him. He's a fucking judge now. He was leading our <laughs> SPU division too. Who would want to be a judge? Definitely not me. I didn't run at all. You did. <laughs> I definitely not. Def I didn't. I didn't have cards. I saw. You, I saw all. your name on the ballot. Fuck. Okay. Um. Hey, that was my brother-in-law. Hey, hey, I'm not down it. Look, fuck it. There's always next time. What we need to do is we need to rebrand you. Oh. Because I think this city needs more judges. But being a judge is sometimes difficult. Because everybody's gonna want. You're always. Everybody's always gonna hate you, Mr. Newman. You'll be just yeah, like me. Do. When you're a judge, you're just like the sh the ex sheriff. Everybody hates you. Yeah, that's a mood. Yeah. Gotcha. Let me go get you your money. All right. Sounds good. I'll be right on it. Then, uh, yeah, you just um, you don't need to like rush. I don't wanna. If you got other shit you gotta do, that's fine. If you could just get it to me sometime today, I'd appreciate it. Judge Coyote, how you doing? I'm pretty good. Just being fired. Oh, you got fired? Oh, you yeah. Got fired. I got to talk to you, Coyote. Actually, thank God you're around. I think you're the best to judge to talk about this shit with. Uh, I'm going to send you 15,000. Comment. Yeah, anything works. What's your state ID, sir? Uh, 10724. 10724. Gotcha. Sent. There you go, pal. 15 G's there your way. There we go. Hell yeah. Yeah, Judge Coyote, I actually need your keen wisdom and intellect here. <laughs>